Hi, I'm Michael Perani, and I'm a product manager for Autodesk Impression. The idea for Impression came from talking with our customers. What we discovered was that the simple process of taking works in progress from a design application and creating illustrations wasn't simple at all. Over and over we heard, we do this all the time, but it takes forever. And if something changes, well then we have to start the whole process all over again. So we set out to make Impression with four goals. Number one, make the output look great. Presentation graphics are about winning business. The pictures have to sell the project. Number two, make it easy. Design the product so that anyone in the office can learn the product in minutes and get great results right away. Number three, make it fast. Use the smarts of the CAD drawing to make the impression illustration process much, much faster than current ways of creating drawings. Number four, embrace change. Designs change all the time. Changes to the illustration should be as close to automatic as possible. The impression has been in beta for a few months, and the folks in the pre-release community have started to make some really nice illustrations. All of the images you will see in this video were created in Impression. One of the things we did with Impression was to reference techniques that hand renderers have perfected over the years. Impression supports several types of media, such as colored pencil, markers, and washes. This is what the Impression interface looks like today. The Impression user interface is set up so that you only need to learn to use a few things. The most important pieces to know about are the Layers palette, the Styles palette, and the Box palette. The Layers palette shows the layers used in your CAD drawing, and new ones created in Impression. The Styles palette comes with a bunch of pre-built styles. Some of the libraries in the Styles palette look like an old friend, a box of colored pencils. The Box palette also comes with pre-built content. In this case, it's a collection of trees, cars, and people. Once again, in a range of visual treatments that you can just drop into your drawings. The two ways that most people create concept renderings is either to rasterize their CAD drawings and import the image into a photo editing system, or plot the design to paper and take pens and pencils to the output. Impression is different. Impression is smart about all the things that you used to build up your CAD drawing, objects, layers, and blocks. Let's say you need to make a quick pencil sketch. In Impression, it's a snap. Just import your DWG or DWF file, and in the Open dialog, choose one of the preset line treatments to apply to your drawing. Impression has two primary ways of applying styles to your drawing. The first, Style by Layer, works great if your drawing is organized into several layers. You can just drag and drop styles from the Styles palette and quickly add color to a drawing. This drawing was done on just a couple of layers and is a good candidate for the Area Fill tool. With the Area Fill tool, I can just click on areas of my drawing, and the color spreads to the area enclosed by the lines in the drawing. Block substitution is a big time saver if your drawing has a lot of blocks. In this landscape, I can pull a nicely rendered block out of my Blocks palette and drop it over a CAD block, and all the instances of that block in the drawing are swapped out. The association of layers and styles in Impression is called a style map. Style maps can be a huge time saver when several drawings have a similar layer organization. Here is an example where the designer was exploring different design solutions based on very similar CAD data to present to his client. As you can see, most of the drawing is the same between the comps. The second and third drawings in this sequence were completed in less than half an hour. Here's another example where the designer created several comps of the same building, reflecting different treatments of the facade. Once a look was settled on, rendering the other elevations of the building was just a matter of pulling in the style map. One of the great things about style maps is that they can be used to render a whole bunch of drawings in a set, and there is visual consistency among the drawings. This is a very quick overview of Impression. Before you dive into using the application, I would encourage you to look at the tutorial videos on the web page. There are several of them, and they cover a range of topics and have a lot more detail than this video. Impression has a quick start tour built into the application. This shows you step by step how to get started. Another great source of information is the quick start guide. There's also the Impression help system, which has handy links embedded in the Impression user interface. We are always looking for feedback and encourage you to share your opinion with us. Thanks very much for looking and for taking Impression for a spin.